Okay guys, so I know I posted the video about Marina Joy's Pokemon Go, yada yada yada. But this is just too interesting not to talk about. So, Pokemon Go news, let's have a look. It's a bunch of random shit that you'd never imagine. And all these news blowing my mind. So, first off we have Pokemon Go players robbed of phones at gunpoint in London. Three teenagers were playing game in par in the park when apparently armed robbers sh struck prompt. Ugh, I can't read prompting safety warning from police. Whoa! So, uh, one of the robbers, 16 to 17 year olds. Whoa! Three teenage Pokemon Go players have been robbed of their mobile phones at gunpoint in North London Park, prompting police to warn the dangers of roaming the streets with expensive mobile phones on show. Victims, aged 15, 16, and 18, were playing the popular mobile phone game in Whittington, Whittington Park on Holloway on Tuesday night when three male teenagers approached them. One of the alleged robbers, believed to be a 16 to 17 year old, pointed what he appeared to be a handgun at the victims while an accomplice demanded that they hand over their devices. The victims gave up their smartphones and left the scene shocked but unscathed. So they weren't hurt but their phones are gone and they were held at gunpoint. They were just playing Pokemon Go. I guess this is how desperate people are these days. You can find the rest of the article online. I'll leave all the article links in the description. Next, Kings Park under siege from avid Perth players. Managers of Perth's much loved tourist draw card, Kings Park, are pleading with Pokemon players to look up from their phones after record numbers of damaged lawns and threatened spring wildflowers. So, this is more, you know, nature wise, you know. Uh, and look at all this Pokemon Go, Pokemon Go. Uh, thousands of players have descended on the park during the day and night trying to catch virtual critters in the... Whatever. <laughs> uh, so, basically, they... People have just been, you know, ruining the King's Park stuff and people aren't happy about it. Uh, as you can see, keep it out of the garden. So, people have obviously been going in gardens like this trying to, you know, swipe at the Zubats, which are quite impossible to catch. Anyway, next up, demands for Pokemon Go developers to remove sacred sites and homes of sex fingers from hit games. So, uh, they want to remove churches and all that, like, as you guys would know, a lot of, uh, places, a lot of Pokestops are churches, so, yeah, the creators of Augmented reality hit Pokemon Go may want to consider re renaming the gaming station to Pokemon No Go after they agreed to remove more sensitive real world locations to stop gamers trampling over their sacred sites. Uh, several locations, including the Anzac Memorial in Sydney, the Hiroshima Peace Memorial, P Remo uh, Memorial Park in Japan, and the Arlington National Cemetery in Washington DC have asked to be removed from the massively popular game. So in Australia even, Anzac Memorial out of the game for Pokestops. Meanwhile, US investigation found Pokestops featuring characters such as Pikachu and Growlithe have popped up outside the homes of sex offenders leading to worries about the safety of Pokemon players. Whoa guys. So like, obviously they're not putting them there on purpose. But people are finding rare Pokemon outside of these, you know, psychos, not even psychos, horrible people's households. And you can just, whoa, some of the stuff with this game, man, like, you can read the article in full in the description, uh, that will have the link, it'll be the third link. Russian officials think Pokemon Go is legal is in our fourth little story here today, like, <clears throat> Pokemon goes evil. Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> Apparently, uh, also Christians a while back thought that Pokemon were summons of Satan or whatever. I forgot what they said. Anyway, Russian officials are flipping out about Pokemon Go and what will dispel its, its dis 
establishing effect on society. The Moscow government believes it's developing its own patriotic version of it. While mobile phone game ha still hasn't seen a Russian release more than two weeks after its German launch, yet Russian Pokemon fans have found workarounds for playing like registering the app with board, fearing how their company will fare under a Pokepocalypse. Russian officials have been spurred to make inflammatory statements about the game's effect on Russian society. So they still haven't gotten a release. People are taking it and apparently they think it's evil. Anyway, here is something actually re like not really really close to me, but close to me. Eh. Anyway, driver playing Pokemon Go crashes into St. Francis Xavier College in Berwick. <laughs> oh, this is great. Guys, this story is great. If you haven't heard of this, then you probably ought to. Sorry, just trying to quote Enzo and Cass there. Anyway, a 19-year-old man has crashed his car into a school while playing Pokemon Go in Melbourne South East. Police believe the man was trying to catch a Pokemon on the popular mobile app when he lost control of his vehicle and crashed into St. Francis Xavier College in Barrack around 6.50pm on Thursday. The man who presumably wanted to be the best there ever was overshot a roundabout on Ridgemont, Ridgemont Drive and smashed through a fence before hitting an empty portable classroom at the Catholic Se Secondary College. Fortunately, no one was injured. The 19-year-old did not level up nor collect any stardust or candies, only debris from the crash. Please, well done, buddy Julianne Newman, well done. Any Pokeballs, eggs or potions the driver may have had remaining only attracted police, leaving the wild Pokemon for another day, she added. Well, ooh, Onyx. <laughs> she said the driver is expected to be charged some inspiration Oh. <laughs> Unacceptable driving. Gee, I love Australia. Beric Bingle comes only days after Vic Rhodes warned motorists not to Pokemon and go with more than 40 electric signs on display around Melbourne. Uh, and then the Beric crash is not the first accident caused by a driver playing Pokemon Go. Talks about things in the United States, in Baltimore, and all that. But that is definitely like crazy. So if you want to read more of that, uh, I believe it will be the fifth link in the description. Final one for today, Pokemon Go safety signs warn Melbourne drivers against playing games. This is crazy, like, whoa. Victoria's Roads Authority is using signs to warn motorists that they may face being issued with four demerit points and $466 fine if caught playing the mobile game. Pokemon Go while driving. So, obviously a lot of people in Australia, I know a lot of people in Australia uh, have been driving and playing Pokemon Go. Uh, definitely probably more in the United States. So, if you're found in Victoria, Vic Roads will chuck you four demerit points and $466 gone. So if you have 12 demerit points, then you're gonna be losing, you know, all your demerit points. And one thousand five hundred dollars. Anyway, it's 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 taken the world over. I've been playing it just a wee bit. I'm on level twelve currently. I've been Kenny Viewer. Until next time, peace. Hope you all enjoyed.